So marine protected areas are a really important tool in identifying the most important areas in our ocean for biodiversity, whether it's whales or sharks or different types of fish. And it, properly designed, well-managed marine protected areas have been shown, proven, that they can restore biodiversity. What we're trying to do with the NPA process is to ensure that we meet with as many groups and organizations as possible in the process in the six-month public consultation element to it in response to Professor Tasman Poole's expert group report. And what we all collectively want to achieve is, is a, a, a level of protection for our seas around Ireland, around our NPAs. The government said they'd have 10% protected by 2020. They missed that deadline. So I don't believe that they'll have 30% protected by 2030 without us protesting, without us demanding uh, that it's done, you know, and that it's done in the right way. We need to be for, to, to designate the areas that need to be protected, make sure they're networked, and then the areas outside of that can be where we have offshore wind. It should not be offshore wind before marine protected areas. We need to do climate and biodiversity together. All possible, this, and 30% needs to be the absolute minimum. The science is actually moving on. The science is saying we need to be protecting more like half of the oceans uh, by the end of the decade. And we need areas where there's no fishing or no extraction going on whatsoever. And all of this is possible, it's doable. We have great scientists in this country, we have great communities, we have great activists. Um, but what we need is the change of mindset at the very senior government level to get this uh, done. So the ambition, if it's there, is absolutely doable.